Hi guys, so this is just the second part of the cross vector product. So um I just wrote it down here and up here I just wrote the sort of mnemonic so that you guys can remember whether it's a positive or a negative vector. So now we're gonna have to start multiplying um, each term. So we're gonna start with the first term and it's gonna be basically a distributive multiplication. But in this case, you're gonna have to take into account the unit vector i, j, and k when you are doing the cross product. So for this one, we have 4i um, times 5i. So it's basically just 4 times 5, and then you look at the, at the unit um, vector. i cross i is gonna equal to zero. i cross j, is gonna equal to, we can see if it's a positive or a negative <laughs> by just looking at this. So if we're going this way, clockwise, we're going i cross j, that's a positive k. So this is gonna be a positive k, and we're gonna see i cross k is i cross k positive or negative. So we're going i cross k, we're going this way, so it's going to be a negative. So now we're going to have a negative j. And as you can see, we're getting the ones that we're not using. So if we're doing i cross j, we're getting the leftover variable k. And if we're doing k cross i, we're do we are getting the leftover variable j. So if we want to get an i, we would have to to k cross j or j cross k. And now we get i either positive or negative. So let me just erase this so we can keep going with our product. So we're gonna have 4i cross 5i that's zero. So then we're gonna go to the next one, 4i cross negative 4j. And that's gonna be a negative 16 because it's four times negative four, that's negative 15 negative 16 and then i cross j as we saw it over here i cross j that's positive k so we're gonna have a positive k now we're gonna have a 4 times 2 that's plus 8 and i cross k we're gonna have i cross k that's a negative j That's the unit vector. Now we're gonna go to the next number. We're gonna have a negative three and a five. That's a negative 15. We have j cross i. j cross i, that's going the other way. It's gonna be a negative. It's gonna be negative k. We're gonna have negative three times four j cross j, that's zero, so we go to the next one, negative three times two, k. So we're gonna have um, negative three times two, that's, I'm sorry, that's a negative six. And it's j cross k, so we go over here and it's j cross k, we're going this way, so it's gonna be a positive. It's gonna be a positive I um, and now we're gonna go to the last term we're gonna have negative 5 times 5 that's a negative 25 and we have k cross i and that's k cross i is going clockwise so it's gonna be a positive j now we're gonna have 5 times 4 and negative 5 times negative 4 that's gonna be a plus 20 and it's k cross j k cross j is going the other way it's counterclockwise it's a negative i and k cross k that's zero and that's all we need now we just have to combine like um like variables and I'll just put them all together so you can see. 
So right here we have the um, result. Um, and I'm just putting the negative now outside. So in this one we have a negative times a negative, that's a positive. So we're gonna have positive 15. We have a negative, negative, negative and a positive. We have a negative 20. So I'm just taking all of these signs out. And now I'm combining the K's together, the J's together, and the I's together. So down here you get an answer of 26i. So that's negative 6, negative 20, negative 26i, and negative 33j. So we have negative 25, negative 8, that's negative 33j, and we have a negative 16 plus 15. 15, that's a negative 1k. So that would be an answer for our cross product. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.